Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your daily reflection. Have you ever been told to calm down, maybe just to be happy? Riddle me this. What builds nothing, but it can destroy everything? Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the answer is anger. Anger, wrath, rage. It is an intense emotional state involving a strong, uncomfortable, and non-cooperative response to a perceived provocation, hurt, or a threat. Listen, we've all been there. We all get angry, and that is okay. We can feel angry, but there may come a time when we lose control of ourselves and we give in to that anger. People feel really angry when they sense that they or someone else that they care about has been offended. Uh, when they are certain about the nature and cause of the angering event, when they are convinced someone else is responsible, and when they feel that they can still influence the situation or cope with it. Usually, those who experience anger explain its arousal as about what happened to me. And in most cases, the described frustrations occur immediately before the anger experienced. However, angry people usually find the cause of their anger in an intentional, personal, and controllable aspect of another person's behavior. In layman's terms, they sometimes blame others for their anger to justify their own behavior. And sometimes, even though we can be angry, there can be a tipping point to when our anger can become sinful. When we give into our anger freely, without thinking, allowing it to manifest in our behavior unchecked, can lead us to let our anger guide us. Have you ever tried being friends with someone who is perpetually angry? I can tell you it is exhausting and draining. Well, James's letter in the New Testament can help us to be more reflective when he gives our, ourselves an opportunity to take time and think about our feelings of anger. He writes, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. When we take time to listen and hear and digest what is being said and rationalize what others are saying or how we are processing what we are feeling, we can generally not give into strong feelings of hate and resentment. These feelings cause us to start the spiral of no self-control and our decision-making skills, well, we throw them right out the window. The truth is, when we are angry, we shut down what helps us rationalize, and we jump in, blinders on. God is calling us to take time and hear, not just listen. Listening is okay, but we need to hear what is happening. So as we go through our day today, let us pray to God that he opens our ears to hear and allow our minds to see clearly. Let us be slow to anger but know that we can be angry. And we ask God to support us when we let our anger get the best of us. Grant us the grace of understanding when our anger overshadows our minds. Amen. St. Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, St. Rock.